offside here. Oh, that's what he's got in mind. Oh. Beckham saw Sullivan off his line. Oh! That is absolutely... Hi, welcome to the Price of Football Figures podcast, the nostalgic podcast that brings you all things football figures, retro shirts, all your favourite memorabilia from the 90s and noughties. We're going to, of course, have constant reference to Corinthian figures, including a dive into how the figures came about leading up to Euro 96 in an episode. Uh, we'll be looking at all sorts of memorabilia, though, like iconic kits, sticker albums, cards, and and also more obscure stuff that we would have found in things like cereal boxes. But I'm really keen to to hear from you guys about what you remember uh, from that time and, and what you remember collecting or or things that you've still got, uh, potentially sharing your own um, your own collections. Like I've got um, just behind me here. I for me, it's um, it's Corinthian figures. I'm I'm known on on social media as corinthian uh, collector um so yeah get in touch you can uh, reach me at the price of football figures at gmail.com uh, or on social media as well um the the handle for things like twitter and all of that stuff is just po football figs um and you know at and that will bring you straight to us one of the um regular features i want to bring on the on the episodes of the podcast is a guess who style feature um Just a bit of fun, but with prizes to be won. So each episode, I'll describe a player from back in the day who did have a Corinthian figure released. Um, And then there'll be like a sort of lineup of of players of their like Corinthian cards. And what I'll do is I'll pin that to the top of the Twitter or or X account. Um, And then what you can do if you want to join in and potentially win a version of that figure that is the correct answer, then you can share that. Uh, along with your answer and and obviously I'll I'll be able to see all of those um and then you know before the the following episode I'll reach out I'll announce who's won and I'll reach out and and arrange sending that figure out to you so um so let's go let's let's play guess who uh, this one I will um I'll I will share that it's it's a euro 96 figure in this box it has um a single figure stand as well with the little England backing so it's a nice little piece in the little box here it's um got a little reduced sticker. It was two ninety nine, ended up being sold for one ninety nine. Uh, but yeah, these are your clues. This might be too easy this first time, but we'll see how we go. So after early success at Tottenham in the early nineties, uh, this midfielder signed for Borough for quite big money at the time, over five million pounds in nineteen ninety five, and he got the assist for the first uh, competitive goal at the Riverside Stadium. After just one season there, he moved to Everton for almost six million. Uh, he ended up staying there until 2000 when he actually moved across the city to their rivals, Liverpool. Uh, final clue as well is obviously he was part of the Euro 96 squad, but he was also in the Euro 2000 squad uh, for England. And he, it, over his career, he earned 23 caps, scoring four goals. So that is the uh, the guess who. So that, that will be pinned onto the, the Twitter or, or X account. Um. Another little regular feature, I wanted to just bring the the headliners headline. Headliners headlines. So uh, what has happened this week? So we've got a, in fact, I can show them to you here, this rare Mark Pembridge figure from Sheffield Wednesday. Um, rare because he wasn't a particularly popular figure, so they just tended to to produce less of them. So at the time, you know, it, 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 he was just out there. Um, and not a lot of people kind of want it. And then as time went on and people started collecting, it was like, well, how do we, where's this figure? We can see he was released. Where is he? Um, so that's why he's rare. But anyway, that that has uh, been, that's emerged on eBay in a listing just as a like job lot of figures uh, this week. Uh, somebody found it, one of the collectors found it and shared that. And it's it's on a listing from a charity, I think a hospice. Um, and that's gone up to to over a hundred pounds now, which is really cool to see that happen. So that's going to be going in the next couple of days. Uh, there was a beautiful unopened, like the kind of the the box you'd have on display in the newsagent when you're a kid uh, on the counter with the Merlin Premier League stickers. There were 95, uh, 1995 Premier League stickers, and it was an unopened box full of unopened packets of stickers that sold this week for five hundred pounds. Um, and I I kind of in jest shared that you know it'd be great to get 500 of us all to put a quid in each 
and get that. And um, I'd quite happily sit for an hour and do like a live, um, a live version of this, just opening and seeing who we've got. Um, I, I do actually have, I think, four stickers missing from my 95 album as well. So that would be cool to to try and fill that but but anyway um another another headline for you this week um i managed to add a figure to my collection that i didn't think i'd ever get and that is this viali in the chelsea away kit um that was only it was exclusively available from wh smith and you had to you got it free if you bought the i think it was the 97 to 98 season review um vhs for chelsea and uh, but only if you bought it there and uh, a lot of the figures just kind of disappeared. Like um, the staff didn't know they had to give them out. Not a lot of people even knew that that offer existed. Uh, and yeah, a lot of the figures just disappeared. Um, and so, yeah, it's become particularly rare. And I, I shared a, want, a most wanted poster on Twitter and just put a bounty reward on there and said, if anyone's got this, you know, I've got this money here for you. Um, and a couple of the Chelsea forum pages shared it kindly. And, and uh, within an hour, somebody replied with a picture of it on a yoga mat saying this one. And, uh, it was this figure here. And so, um, I just said, well, do you want to claim the bounty for that? And, uh, yeah, here it is, which was really exciting and uh, huge, huge thank you to my wife for letting me do that. Uh, bless her. Um, do actually plan to get her on a future episode to interview her about, um, about what she makes of this, this bizarre, bizarre hobby that, that resulted in, in this, um, you know, over a thousand, little football figures essentially on display in our office they are behind like a mirror door so she can hide them away we share the office so it's important to to do that but uh yeah and there's a few other collectors who've shared uh some of the things that their partners have have expressed about the the postman knocking the door fairly often and things um final news item um an official corinthian catalog was sold on ebay um, just this week as well. Uh, that would have come out in uh, for the early sort of 95 to 97 figures that were released after the England figures that came out initially. Uh, so that was a, a catalogue aimed at retailers, so people like BTs and, and Woolworths, um, to kind of get them to, to, to stock the figures. So that would have had kind of um, the proposed releases, uh, in what formats, what costing that would have been for retailing, and like the display stands, all of that stuff in there. And it's really cool. It shows like figures that they had produced, like their master figure, they call it. So it was made up and sculpted and painted, but that never went in pro into production. So a lot of them did, but some didn't. And so they're, they're just, you can't find them um, apart from the master figures that were auctioned off by the company. So some of the collectors out there have those, but there are really cool, like unreleased figures in there, like Trevor Sinclair for QPR, uh, Marco Boogers for West Ham, remember him? And uh, Niall Quinn for Man City as well. That, that catalogue sold for just under seventy pounds. Um, I did. I was actually trying to get that, and I, I missed the end of the auction. I mean, I don't know if I'd have gone up to to seventy quid on it, but um, would have been a lovely thing to have. I do have uh, like images, like PDF of the of the catalogue, but just to have that back here with the with the uh, the rest of the collection would have been nice. Um, and I've got some regular content going up on YouTube. This this will be videoed and, and up on YouTube as well. Um, but I've also done lots of other little videos. So just now I put up uh, the other night a video of me actually unboxing one of the figures that was like 25 years old. And I've had it for such a long time. Not not 25 years, but a good, a good few years, uh, at least five years, I would say. Um, and there's just been a gap on these stands where, where that figure went. It was a George Weyer uh, away, AC Milan. And um, I'd never kind of found it cheap enough to warrant messing around with sending this one out to somebody and selling it and finding another one. Like if you factored in the postage cost, it, it wasn't going to save me any money. And I thought, you know what, I'll put this to a vote. So we had a poll on Twitter and uh, it was, you know, what are you waiting for? Get it open or, or absolutely not. No way. Don't don't open a, a mint condition blister sealed in its pack. Um I had to listen to the people they said to open it. So I did a little um, little bit, uh, opening video of that. Um, I've also got a load of uh, retro shirts come in. So I've got, I've got a video just going up of those as well, sort of just um, saying where I got them and, and how much and all that stuff. And uh, yeah, I've got like this kind of theme of wanting to get kind of iconic players and iconic kits. Um, so players in those kits of those times. Um, so I've got like Ronaldo, this is the, the Zidane uh, France 98 World Cup final. 
Uh, I've got Fowler in a really prolific season there. I mean, Ronaldo, everyone calls him R9, don't they? But I think that first season at, at, at Milan was like before his injuries was just prime Ronaldo. It was when I was spending like, uh, you know, the morning at the weekend watching, uh, you know, classic Italian football, Galazzo, you know, and uh, yeah, really into that. And I've got a couple of Hullet jerseys and a couple of other bits and pieces as well. Um, but I'd love to hear your suggestions on on which iconic kits and which iconic players I should add to that. I've got a bit of a wish list, but it'd be interesting if, uh, if, if there are any that I've not thought of, I'd love to love to get your insight on that. I do have um, the 95, 96 leads uh, kit with your bow on the back. Cause some of his, some of his strikes were just sensational. They're just, just memories that are just in my brain. So yeah, I mean, as always, you can reach out on, on as I say, all social media. It's PO Football Figs uh, or email the price of football figures at gmail.com. Love to hear from you guys and kind of see how this evolves and, and uh, you know, whether we can come up with any new features or, you know, love to hear if you've got any interesting stories about maybe meeting players back in the day, any interactions with them. Uh, you know, maybe you're an autograph hunter. Uh, maybe you've got an unusual collection uh, you'd like to kind of share with the community. And we'd, I'd love to sort of build a bit of a community around all this and, yeah, share share my passion with you all.